My name is Ian Nepper. I'm a violin maker here based in Cork City um, on George's Quay. Been here for six years. I first started out working for a violin maker called Jeremy de Grant, who's a French fella who was based in Cork for 20 years. And I started working for him for a few years. And then after that, I went and studied in England for a couple of years, and I've been here for six. First, you start out by selecting the wood. Um, I source my wood from Europe. That's really the best stuff. I don't use really any Irish, native Irish woods. It's too mild here. So it's never really cold and it's never really hot. Everything grows really quickly because of that. So the wood is very spongy. And there's no density, so it doesn't really work great. So you go to where climate is more extreme, really hot, really cold. So the wood grows a lot slower. Um, therefore making it dense. So I get my the top of the spruce, the top of the violin, where the F holes, the sound holes are, are made out of spruce from Italy, Italian spruce. The rest of the violin is primarily constructed out of maple. And I get that from kind of the Balkans. That's that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. So yeah, that's that's first step is like I choose the wood, and then um, I have a mold, which I use to kind of construct the violin around. And after that, I start cutting out the top and the back. I start carving it from one piece of wood. It's all hand tools I use. So I'll carve the top of the instruments and the back, finish it um, with a bit of, you know, scrape it with a, with a blade, and then I turn it over and hollow out the tops to the right thickness, and glue it all together, and then make a scroll and a neck, and then stick that in the body, and voila! You have a violin. I guess the nature of what I do, dealing with people's instruments, these are very personal, dear, um, I don't know, objects that people own and love and cherish. I'd say, you know, people are very sensitive <laughs> with what their instruments and they love them and yeah, best not to criticize them. If you see something, it's, you know, a little, a little sketchy of a violin, or you know, just a very kind of not very interesting instrument, and they think it's the best thing in the world. People love their instruments.
something that I really, really felt. And I think everyone who, who steps out and puts themselves out there um, deals with is that imposter syndrome. It's real, man, it's so real. That was the thing I struggled with a lot, just feeling kind of like, wow, what am I doing? This is crazy. But it's just a matter of just, it's just, just keep going. I just kept going. And now I am less concerned with that. I think every, you're always going to have some kind of thing like that, of just feeling kind of inadequate in what you're doing or whatever. It's like somebody's going to realize I'm a fraud. But the reality is, you just got to keep doing it. Yeah, let your work speak for itself. Not worry about your mind games. I don't know. Does that make sense? Tune. It's called Preacher, the Unknown Preacher's Tune. 